Xavier Rose is the top cornerback on a Vikings defense that's held Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, and Michael Thomas to less than 70 yards and no touchdowns in the first three games. So Xavier, big contract extension in July. Uh, Charles Woodson yes. on our pregame show before week one said that big dollars would mean top receivers would be trying to earn their own deals by beating you. How would you describe the intensity level for you the first few weeks? Um, it, it's been it's been there, man. It's been high, you know. Um, I know I have to guard that each and every play and, and and play to that to that level, you know. I know the guys on my team expect me to be that guy and guard and make make plays like I've been doing the last past couple of years. So that's what I've been continuously doing. Okay, so your last big matchup was with Mike Evans of the Bucks. <laughs> so we've heard your nickname is Roads Closed. Is that true? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, the fans and the team, my teammates, is, that's what they've been calling me lately. Okay, so off the matchup then, the NFL even tweeted out an image of roads <laughs> closed. And then Evan's response on Twitter was, roads were open for me, film don't lie. So how would you uh, describe the matchup, Xavier? How do you describe it? Oh, man. Uh, I mean, he feels his own person with my way, as you know. I held him to a certain amount of yards. I did what I needed to do to stop them in um, certain situations. And um, it was a good battle at the end of the day, but uh, at the end, we came on top and we came on a victory. <laughs> all right, I guess your film <laughs> says it all, right? Yeah, film, I mean, we have to check film. If we check film, we'll see from who <laughs> went from there. All right, so after the uh, big week one win, obviously huge curveball thrown at the team with Sam Bradford sitting out with mm -hmm. a knee injury. As a defense, mm -hmm. you guys have been down this road before. How do you as a group handle adversity? Oh, we just continue to play our ball. You know, we continue to play, try to make stops, three and outs, turnovers on defense, and try to get the offense back on the field as much as possible. Because we feel like if the offense on the field is uh, a lot more, we have a better chance of putting points on the board rather than, rather than us being on the field a lot, I mean, much longer than the offense, and then, you know, we won't have many opportunities to score. What do you think is the magic of the Vikings defense? It's just being aggressive. I mean, you watch our film, you're going to go out there, you're going to see us out there hitting making tackles, uh, breaking up passes. We all in um, offensive face. We're in their face. And we're doing whatever we need to do to let them know that it's going to be a long game. What are you most looking forward to this week, in this, this week's matchup? Oh, battle. You know, uh, <laughs> Detroit bring it, you know, especially in the fourth quarter if they down. Them guys turn another switch and them guys don't give up. They finish, they, they understand the word finish in the fourth quarter and, and throughout the whole game. So we have to stop Matthew Stafford from um, breaking out and um, make, uh, making, uh, making throws on a run and covering the receivers in tight coverage and getting sacks and them not, letting, not allowing Matthew to um, make those tough throws.